everyone hope all of you are doing well in the previous video we have discussed ncert textbook questions and numericals related to average speed average velocity and acceleration in this video we are going to discuss ncert textbook questions related to distance time graph and velocity time graph also we will discuss numericals from equations of motion this is the most important topic in this chapter are you ready to go with the first question we can move to the first question in page number 107 the question is what is the nature of distance time graphs for uniform and non uniform motion of an object so here we have to draw the distance time graph for uniform and non uniform motions right the graphical representation gives us lot of information about the motion of objects distance time graph gives the change in position of an object with time to draw distance time graph distance is taken along y axis and time is taken along x axis you remember that the variable is always taken along x axis here time is the variable so it is taken along x axis now we can answer the question that is when the motion is uniform the distance time graph is a straight line with a slope it is given here okay the second part of the question is in the case of non uniform motion so we can see that the distance time graph is drawn here the distance is taken along y axis and time is taken along x axis the shape of the graph is not a straight line it can be any curve so understand the difference between these two graphs in the case of uniform and non uniform motion now we can move to the second question that is what can you say about the motion of an object whose distance time graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis here we can see the distance time graph which is a straight line parallel to the time axis that is even if we increase the time interval the distance remains the same right what does it mean that means the body is at rest that is the body is not moving at all okay hope it is clear to you now we can move to the third question that is what can you say about the motion of an object if its speed time graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis here it is given that the speed time graph is a straight line parallel to the time axis that means as the time interval increases the speed remains the same a similar situation we have already discussed in the previous question right that means there in the case of distance time graph it was a straight line parallel to time axis what was the meaning of that because as the time increases the distance remained constant there so that means the body was at rest but in this case the as the time increases the speed remains constant that means or the speed is the same so we can say that the object is moving uniformly in this case so don't be confused with these two distance time graph and velocity time graph or speed time graph okay now we can move to the fourth question that is what is the quantity which is measured by the area occupied below the velocity time graph we can draw a velocity time graph by taking velocity along y axis and time along x axis and if you are taking the area below the velocity time graph we will get the distance covered by the object our next question is from equations of motion so before answering the question we have to know what are equations of motions we have v equal to u plus at s is equal to ut plus half at square and 2 as equal to v square minus u square these three are the equations of motion here 
v is the final velocity u is the initial velocity a is acceleration t time you taken and uh, s is the displacement and uh, can we use these equations in all the situations no these equations can be used if the body has uniform acceleration or uniform retardation we know that uniform acceleration means the speed should be increasing at a uniform rate and in the case of uniform retardation the speed should be decreasing at a uniform rate so in these two cases only we can use these equations so suppose we have a body moving with a constant speed or a constant velocity can we use these equations no because there is no acceleration if the object has a constant speed or constant velocity so in such cases we can use the simple equations like uh, distance is equal to speed into time and displacement equal to velocity into time okay so whenever we are getting a question we have to check that is it moving with uniform acceleration or uniform retardation in such cases only we have to apply these three equations okay and uh, in some cases it will be given that the car is starting from rest then it may not be mentioned the value of initial velocity so if it is starting from rest we can take u as zero that is initial velocity will be zero the car will be at rest in the beginning so that in such cases we have to take u is equal to zero and sometimes it will be given like uh, the car is coming to rest or a brake is applied in such a case we have to take the final velocity as zero that is v equal to zero that means the uh, object is coming to rest so the final velocity will be zero so that you have to keep it in your mind whenever you are getting such a question okay and one more thing for downward motion sometimes the in the case of free fall that means uh, the acceleration will be only due to gravity in such a cases so in such a case the downward motion we will take the acceleration as acceleration due to gravity only that is g is equal to 9.8 meter per second square so making our calculation easy we will take the value of g as 10 meter per second square so for downward motion we will take the value of acceleration as plus 10 meter per second square and for upward motion we will take the value of acceleration as minus 10 meter per second square so if you keep these things in your mind whenever you are doing the numericals it will be very easy to solve the numericals now we can move to the first question page number 109 the question is a bus starting from rest moves with a uniform acceleration of 0 0.1 meter per second square for two minutes find the speed acquired and the distance traveled so whenever you are getting a question you have to read the question once more and write down the quantities given here okay so from our question it is given that the bus is starting from rest starting from rest means initial velocity will be zero then you can write down u is equal to zero right then what are the things given here uniform acceleration so uniform acceleration is 0 0.1 meter per second square so that means a is equal to 0 0.1 meter per second square and time is given as two minutes now we have to calculate the speed and the distance traveled okay here the time is given as two minutes so that that minutes we have to convert into seconds so that will be 2 into 60 seconds that will be 120 seconds okay now we can find out the equation for finding speed and distance traveled okay in our question it is given that the bus is starting uh, moving with uniform acceleration so if it is moving in uniform acceleration we can use equations of motion right so write down the three equations of motion in one side of your notebook that is v equal to u plus at s equal to ut plus half at square 
and v square minus u square equal to 2 as okay so that the three quantities are given here that is u a and t we have to find out v that v is the velocity that means it is equivalent to speed because velocity is speed with direction okay so the magnitude will be the same so to calculate speed we can find out final velocity okay so which equation will be better to use because in i think the first equation the three quantities are given and only the fourth quantity we have to calculate so we can use v equal to u plus at that will be v equal to 0 plus a will be 0 0.1 into here it is 0 0.1 and into 120 okay so that will be equal to <coughs> 12 meter per second to calculate the speed traveled by the bus we can use the third equation of motion that is b square minus u square equal to 2as when we are substituting the values of u v and a we will get the value of s that is 12 square minus 0 square equal to 2 into 0 0.1 into s when we rearrange we will get the value of s as s equal to 720 meter that is speed acquired by the bus is equal to 12 meter per second and the distance traveled by the bus is 720 meter now we can move to the second question a train is traveling at a speed of 90 km per hour. Brakes are applied so as to produce a uniform acceleration of minus 0.5 meter per second square. Find how far the train will go before it is brought to rest. Now we can read the question once more to write down the given quantities. Okay. What is given here? A train is traveling at a speed of 90 km per hour. That means the initial velocity is 90 km per hour. That is u equal to 90 km per hour. Now, brakes are applied so as to produce a uniform acceleration of minus 0 0.5 meter per second square. Brakes are applied means what we can understand v will be 0 right that means the final velocity will be zero because the train will come to rest okay so that we can write v as zero and the acceleration is given as minus 0 0.5 meter per second square and we have to calculate the distance traveled okay that is u equal to 90 kilometer per hour how we are getting that 25 meter per second that means we have to convert the kilometer per hour into meter per second. For that we are multiplying 90 with 5 by 18. That will be 90 into 5 by 18 that will be is equal to 25 meter per second. And the final speed of the train is 0. That means final velocity will be 0 because the tra train is coming to rest. And the acceleration is given as minus 0 0.5 meter per second square. And uh, now we have to find out which equation we want to use. Right. So that here in our question it is given that the brakes are applied to produce a uniform acceleration. That means we can use the equations of motion because uniform acceleration is here. So that we can just write down the three equations on the right side of your notebook. That is V equal to U plus AT s equal to ut plus half at square v square minus u square is equal to 2 as so what we want to calculate from this we have to calculate the distance traveled okay so that we have the other three quantities v u and a then which equation will be better the third equation right so that we can use the use the third equation by rearranging v square equal to u square plus 2 as now substitute the values of v that is 0 u 25 a minus 0 0.5 that will be 0 square equal to 25 square plus 2 into minus 0 0.5 into s okay here s is the distance 
so that we can just rearrange the equation to get the value of s that will be 25 square divided by 2 into 0 0.5 that is 625 meter that means the train will cover a distance of 625 meter before it comes to rest hope it is clear to you now we can move to the third question question is a trolley while going down an inclined plane has an acceleration of 2 cm per second square. What will be its velocity 3 seconds after the start? Now we can read the question once more and write down the quantities given here. Okay, what are the quantities given? A trolley it is moving through an inclined plane and it has acceleration of 2 cm per second square. So we can write down acceleration A equal to 2 cm per second square and it is given that its velocity we have to calculate the velocity after 3 seconds that means the final velocity we have to find and then after the start means so initially the velocity was 0 ok in an inclined plane initially the velocity will be 0 so u we can write as 0 and time is given as 3 seconds right now we can write down initial velocity u equal to 0 cm per second, acceleration a equal to 2 cm per second square, time t equal to 3 second. Okay. Now we have to find out the velocity, final velocity we want to find out. So which equation can be used here? So to know that, with, to find out the equation, we have to check the question again. Right. So that it is given that the trolley is moving through an inclined plane. What does it mean? In an inclined plane, the body will be having uniform accelerated motion. So, in such a situation, we can use the three equations of motion. Okay. We have already studied that. So, that we can just write down the three equations on the notebook. That is V equal to U plus AT, S equal to UT plus half AT square and V square minus U square equal to 2 AS. So, which all quantities we have A, T and U we have. We have to find V only. So, which equation will be better to use? We can use the first equation, right? That is V equal to U plus A T. That Then when we substitute the values, U will be 0. So, 0 plus A is 2. That is 2 into T is 3. Okay. So, we will get the value as 6 cm per second. Okay, hope it is clear to you. Fourth question. A racing car has a uniform acceleration of 4 m per second square. What distance will it cover in 10 seconds after start? Here, which quantities are given? The uniform acceleration is 4 m per second square. We can write A is equal to 4 m per second square and uh, time is 10 second then what we have to calculate the distance travel we have to calculate here the initial velocity u equal to 0 meter per second acceleration a equal to 4 meter per second square time t equal to 10 second now we have to calculate the distance so which equation we can use here because it has already told that the it is a uniform acceleration so that we can use the equations of motion, right? So first of all, we can write the three equations of motion like S e V equal to U plus AT, S C equal to UT plus half AT square to A is equal to V square minus U square. So we have U, A, T and we have to calculate S. So which is the equation connecting these four U, A, T and S? That is the second equation, right? So, we can write S equal to UT plus half AT square. So, that we can substitute the values. Then we will get S is equal to U into T. That is 0 into 10 plus half into A is 4. 4, 4 into T square. That is 10 square. So, that will be 0 plus half into 4 into 100. So, that will be half into 400. That is equal to 200 meters right 
അവർ ലാസ്റ്റ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ ഈസ് ക്വസ്റ്റ്യൻ നമ്പർ ഫൈവ് എ സ്റ്റോൺ ഈസ് ത്രോൺ ഇൻ എ വേർട്ടിക്കലി അപ്വേർഡ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ വിത്ത് എ വെലോസിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഫൈവ് മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് ഇഫ് ദ ആക്സലറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റോൺ ഡ്യൂറിംഗ് ഇറ്റ്സ് മോഷൻ ഈസ് ടെൻ മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് സ്ക്വയർ ഇൻ ദ ഡൗൺവേർഡ് ഡയറക്ഷൻ വാട്ട് വിൽ ബി ദ ഹൈറ്റ് അറ്റെയിൻ ബൈ ദ സ്റ്റോൺ ആൻഡ് ഹൗ മച്ച് ടൈം വിൽ സ്റ്റേ ടു റീച്ച് ദ നോ വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ദ ഗിവൺ ക്വാണ്ടിറ്റീസ് ഹിയർ വാട്ട് ആർ ദ തിങ്സ് ഗിവൺ ഹിയർ ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഗിവൺ ദാറ്റ് ദ എ സ്റ്റോൺ ഈസ് ത്രോൺ വെർട്ടിക്കലി അപ്വേർഡ്സ് വിത്ത് എ വെലോസിറ്റി ഓഫ് ഫൈവ് മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ദ വെലോസിറ്റി യു ഈസ് ഫൈവ് മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് ആൻഡ് ദ ആക്സലറേഷൻ ഓഫ് ദ സ്റ്റോൺ ഈസ് ടെൻ മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് സ്ക്വയർ ഇൻ ദ ഡൗൺവേർഡ് ഡിറക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് വി ഹാവ് ടു കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ദ ഹൈറ്റ് അറ്റെയ്ൻഡ് ബൈ ദ സ്റ്റോൺ ആൻഡ് ദ ടൈം ടേക്കൺ ഓക്കെ സോ ദാറ്റ് വി ഹാവ് ടു സെലക്ട് ദ ഇക്വേഷൻ ടു ഫൈൻഡ് ദീസ് ടു ഹൈറ്റ് ആൻഡ് ടൈം ടേക്കൺ നോ വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് ദ ഇനീഷ്യൽ വെലോസിറ്റി യു ഈസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു ഫൈവ് മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് ദ ഡൗൺവേർഡ് നെഗറ്റീവ് ആക്സലറേഷൻ ബിക്കോസ് ദ ആക്സലറേഷൻ ഇൻ ഈസ് ഇൻ ദ ഡൗൺവേർഡ് ഡിറക്ഷൻ ആൻഡ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് ഫ്രീ ഫോൾ സോ വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ദ ആക്സലറേഷൻ വിൽ ബി പോസിറ്റീവ് ഇൻ സച്ച് എ കേസ് സോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് വിൽ ബി ടെൻ മീറ്റർ പെർ സെക്കൻഡ് സ്ക്വയർ ആൻഡ് ഫൈനൽ വെലോസിറ്റി വിൽ ബി സീറോ ബിക്കോസ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് കമ്മിങ് ടു റെസ്റ്റ് സോ ദാറ്റ് വി ക്യാൻ റൈറ്റ് വി ആസ് സീറോ നോ വി ഹാവ് ടു കാൽക്കുലേറ്റ് ദ ഹൈറ്റ് അറ്റെയ്ൻ ബൈ ദ സ്റ്റോൺ ഫോർ ദാറ്റ് വിച്ച് ഇക്വേഷൻ വി ക്യാൻ സെലക്ട് ഇൻ ദ കേസ് ഓഫ് ഫ്രീ ഫോൾ വി നോ ദാറ്റ് ഇറ്റ് ഈസ് യൂണിഫോംലി ആക്സലറേറ്റഡ് മോഷൻ സോ ഇൻ സച്ച് എ കേസ് വി ഹാവ് ടു അപ്ലൈ ദ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് മോഷൻ വിച്ച് ആർ ദ ഇക്വേഷൻസ് ഓഫ് മോഷൻ വി ഈക്വൽ ടു യു പ്ലസ് എ ടി എസ് ഇസ് ഈക്വൽ ടു യു ടി പ്ലസ് ഹാഫ് എ ടി സ്ക്വയർ ആൻഡ് വി സ്ക്വയർ മൈനസ് യു സ്ക്വയർ ഈക്വൽ ടു ടു എ എസ് സോ വിച്ച് ഇക്വേഷൻ ക്യാൻ ബി യൂസ് ഇൻ ദിസ് ഫസ്റ്റ് കേസ് here we have u v and a we have to calculate the height attained so which all equations are having s so it is easy to find the height by using the third equation of motion right so that is v square minus u square is equal to 2 as so when we are rearranging this equation we will get s equal to v square minus u square by 2 a then substitute the values of v square and u square then it will be v is 0 so 0 square minus 5 square and divided by 2 into 10 so that will be minus 25 by 20 then we will get the value answer as 1.25 meter now we have to calculate the time also for that we have v u s and a so which equation can be used to calculate t we can use v equal to u plus a t right so when we are rearranging this we will get the value of t as v minus u by a then we have v is equal to 0 u as 5 and acceleration as minus 10 because the in the case of upward motion the acceleration should be taken as positive so we will write the value as 0.5 seconds okay so time will never be negative the therefore we will take it as 0.5 seconds only so if you are getting such a question that means in the case of uniformly accelerated motions or in the case of inclined plane or in free fall we can use the equations of motion so if you are getting such a question you remember to write the three equations in one side of your uh, notebook and select the equation properly then it will be very easy to calculate okay so we can wind up now the numericals from page number 112 of your textbook will be discussed in the next video thanks for watching